Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Mickey the Money Shaver here, and today, because it's Flower Friday, I'm going to be doing a shave review of Derby Shave Cream Lavender Scented. Um, to start off, I believe this is Turkish. I also believe you can get it for under $10 on eBay if I remember correctly, so still within our budget. Um, let's see about ingredients. Ingredients, aqua, stearic acid, glycerin, potassium hydroxide, coconut oil, fatty acid, propylene glycol, sodium hydroxide, boric acid, parfum, menthone, glycerin, acetal, alcohol, sodium, isocetyl, things I can't pronounce. That's the gist of it. Um, so a lot of the same stuff you see. In um, other ones, I cheated on this one and I smelled it, and I actually really like the smell. I usually don't like lavender. I think I mentioned that in uh, the lather review of this. Um, I usually don't like the smell of lavender, but I really like the smell of this because it has kind of a soapy smell to it as well. Yeah, I really like that. So, just starting with a little dab in there. I'm gonna soak my brush for a second. This is how much we're starting with in there. So about the same as I did for the lather review. Um, as usual, I have a fresh Astra blade in my uh, Vanderhagen um, safety razor. Check back soon because I think I'm getting a new razor soon. Um, more on that later. Uh, just make sure this is all set. All right. Oh, I did not cut myself. All right. So this is probably soaked enough because it is just a synthetic brush. And I'm using lukewarm water, so, and I'm draining pretty much all the water from the brush. I don't want to start out with too much water, because I did that yesterday. So I am using my Sterling brush. Probably add a little water. Now we're getting a bit of a lather in here. Yesterday, when I did the lather review, I got a really good lather. Hi! My wife just got out of bed. Um, so I'm looking forward to shaving with this. I've got a pretty good lather, so I think I'll lather up with that. And I think my head is healed enough that now I can start shaving like normal again. I guess we'll find out. It goes on pretty good. Ah, crap. I'm used to this being my shave mug. I just dipped it in water. Let's try and buff some of that out. Oh good, it didn't ruin it. It actually made it a little better. More water. That's the trick. Alright, now we got a really good lather on there. Let's 
my wife is showering. Um, all right, let's start shaving. I'm going to start going with the grain. Immediate thoughts on it. There's no really pulling or tugging. No irritation. There's a bit of slickness left over um, where there was shave cream. So that's nice if I want to go back and touch something up. All right. So yeah, that felt pretty good. Um, I try not to judge it based on the uh, with the grain or the across the grain though, because um, I think you can really tell how well or not well uh, shave creams and soaps do when you're going against the grain, which I know not everyone does, but I do, so I want something that's going to protect me when I go against the grain. So now I'm going across the grain. I like that it's not, um, <laughs> excuse me, I like that it's not uh, gunking up my razor, that's nice. I don't have to spend 10 minutes trying to clean out my razor, um, so that's definitely a, a plus. All right, so I went across the grain. Still a lot of slickness left there from the two passes, which is nice. And now, we're gonna try against the grain. I'm not too worried about Against the Grain. I have really high hopes for this, um, especially after doing the lather review. I was really excited to, uh, ooh, got some water, to shave with this, especially because it smells so good. Um, the smell isn't overpowering, which is nice, so you're not sitting there like choking on it. Um, so that's a big plus for me. Um, I do like strong scents, but I don't like to choke, so. <laughs> Alright, so first couple um, strokes with the uh, against the grain felt really good. Um, good close shave. There's a couple spots I could touch up, but um, I think that's mostly because I had some growth where I cut myself. Um, no tugging and pulling really. Um, I think a lot of people assume that the blade is going to be responsible for the tugging and pulling, but I think that if you don't have a um, slick enough uh, cream or soap, you're going to get a lot of tugging and pulling too. Because every time I hear people talking about tugging and pulling, they're talking about a blade. But for me, I get a lot of tugging and pulling not only with a bad blade, but with um, a bad soap. So... got a little um it's a little tender up here when I shave just like this part of my head
But um, that's pretty normal for me. I've not, um, I think that I just have a tender head, to be honest, um, because everywhere else I'm fine. So, gotta clean off my razor. It is leaving a lot of, um, because I'm not I'm putting it under running water, obviously, it's leaving a lot of uh, residue on the razor. So, but I mean, it's not gunked up, so. Yeah, because like right here, I'm fine. There's not really, not really any irritation there. And then, let me see how I did. Missed a huge spot right here and here and pretty much all the back of my head. Okay. So we're going to do a touch up pass there. The front of my head's pretty good. You can see that I can even go over some spots without putting more cream there because that's the kind of slickness it left behind. I, um, some people will tell you not to try to get a BBS shave. I'm kind of like anal about that, so I do try to get as close to a BBS as I can without cutting up my head, you know? I can't stand if I've missed spots. And for some reason, I'm missing a ton of spots today. I don't know if that's because of the cream or the blade or just it's one of those days, you know, sometimes you just have days where you don't get everything and at some point you just gotta stop trying which might be this point um, yeah my hair grows in a different direction right here I have a cowlick so I've always got to go sideways here it's a big cowlick too it's like a good three or four inches long all right I know I said I was gonna give up so I'm gonna give up um it feels pretty good um my skin looks and feels pretty good which is a huge uh, plus for me I um having healthy hydrated skin is really important for me and um, right now my skin feels like Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, not the best it's ever been, but yeah, I uh, would have to say I'm impressed. I'm definitely impressed for the price. Um, my skin feels good and it was a good shave. Um, not too much pulling, not too much tugging. Uh, I got a really close shave. I had to go over a few parts. Um, not sure what that was about, if it was just one of those days or what, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I really like this. I'm going to keep it in my, uh, rotation. Uh, the smell alone is enough to, uh, <laughs> keep me going back. Um, I would definitely suggest trying this, um, especially if you're on a budget. It is a really good shave cream, in my opinion, and, uh, I'm definitely going to keep using it. I think that's probably all I have to say about that. Have a great day, guys. Peace.